Hello Dave is brought to you ad-free by my supporters on Patreon. Become a Patreon yourself and get your name listed as a supporter at the end of every video by following the link in the video description. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Hello Dave with Down to Earth Astronomy. This week we're going to be talking about some quote-unquote leaked Thargoid images. Space has been very interesting, New Horizons has done some flybys, SpaceX is up to something really weird and the Chinese has landed on the moon. Of course, I'm also going to cover, this is the last week of uh, the giveaways, the last winners has been drawn, they're going to be announced, and we're going to talk about the live stream tomorrow. But let's dive right into it, and let's start with the leaked Thargoid images. You will maybe have seen these float around over the last week, there's been lots to talk about on the forums, and the initial images that were out were just some like, still images, and these were suddenly posted and resurfaced, I was really puzzled at first because I thought I'd seen something, at least something very similar um, before and uh, Frontier has confirmed that these images are uh, images they used back in 2014 for some they were apparently considering whether they would have Thargoids like in the game like that um, obviously nothing has happened with it uh, it's, so it's not something new that's been added recently it's not an indication of where the game is going and this has also been confirmed by Frontier that this is not something they have added recently. This is something that's been in the game files for a very long time. And, and th these images have been data mined for um, a long time ago. And now they for some reason resurfaced. Now, what also then began floating around was some 3D renders of it. And frankly, I'm not too sure about these. To me, they seem like a remake. It seems weird because we've seen this before. Right, that that what happens is people dig up some old information that that people haven't been used for a very long time, and they try to like push it out as something new that's just popped up, that's just been data mined to try and make a um, a sensation, and out of that, and then suddenly when Frontier goes say, guys, this is this is old news. This is several years ago. This was added, and then suddenly these renders pops up. Um, why wouldn't you just pop up the show up the renders of the 3D models to start with? It just seems weird to me. It, it to me it smells a lot like uh, the whole thing that happened just after that uh, quote unquote secret meeting that was at Frontier, where um, selected um, people from the community were invited over to uh, Frontier's headquarters to get a sneak peek of some of the stuff that was going to be added in this patch, uh, in the 3.3 patch that is. And, and right after that, there were some, some rumors floating around and somebody was, was making, um, making like, uh, false claims about that they were at the meeting and they had that information and they were willing to leak it. And, and there was some information leaked that turned out to be completely bogus. This seems to be something down the same alley to me. Um, I mean, the, the pictures are, are genuine and the 3D renders are also very interesting. I mean, they are, of course, built on the images. But I don't think these are actually pulled from the game. I think these are remakes that somebody has sit down and done. Um, I think that's way more likely. But anyway, um, I don't know. I, I've, I haven't covered it um, in, in any like detail with this dedicated video. And it's mainly because my point of view of it, of it is, um, first of all, of course, data mining the out of the out of the game um, is a breach of contract. And secondly, uh, as I said, I don't see this being anything um, too newsworthy. I mean, of course, I'm talking about it now, but um, a lot of you guys have been asking me for my opinion on it, and, and here you have it. I, I personally think that they sure the images the images are genuine, um, back from 2014, but they are genuine, um, and the 3D models are probably a remake. That is my my take on it. Um, but of course, if anything else happens, I'll be sure to uh, to keep it in Hello Dave in the coming weeks if, if something else surfaces up regarding it, but oh well. Also, um, X4, I haven't done a lot of X4, um, of course I'm recording this now Sunday uh, around noon and I'm considering if I should live stream it later today, um, I guess you guys will know by now if I did or not, but um, I'm definitely still planning to do more X4, I haven't been doing a lot lately, um, 
uh, there has been a ton of stuff to do in Elite and really enjoying the new patch, And but I also want to keep doing, um, I'll keep playing X4, so that's, it's not, even though there's not been a lot happening, um, it's not because I'm a bad thing the game, I'm definitely still going to cover that. Uh, so hopefully more X4 live streams um, coming up, and as also been mentioned before, I'll probably focus on live streaming it in the beginning and then begin doing more tutorials videos later on down the road. But let's turn our attention to real space. Um, there's been quite a, a few, many, many news this week. And I have to actually like, select out some of them that I find was the most interesting. Um, New Horizon, which you might recall, the one that flew past Pluto a while back, took some stunning images, is now working on its um, stretch objectives, like extra, extra goals. Basically, when they fly past Pluto, they didn't have any specific um, goals for the mission after that, but they were pretty much just looking for targets of opportunity. So if anything came across its path, they would do a small correction to get in close and take some pictures. Now, when you're out past Pluto's orbit, what you're pretty much expecting to find is what's known as Kuiper Belt objects. It's a belt, as I said, right outside the orbit of, of Pluto, outside of the uh, main planets, is where the, the planets like uh, Eris and uh, Makemake and stuff like that are flying around out there. Um, huge chunks of ice. And th this one was quite interesting. Uh, th they found an object, did a flyby, um, called Ultima Thule. Um, it's basically a comet, but what's interesting about this is it's actually two comets that's been that's collided, but they've collided with such a, a low velocity that they've basically fused together like a snowman. I'll show you a picture of it here. And I just I just found that was to be to be quite interesting because I don't know, we never really get any I mean, we always assumed that, that of course something like this could happen, but we'd never actually been able to confirm it. So actually seeing this um, just gives us some confirmation of some of the theories we had about what would actually happen with um, with comets when they collide out there. Um, but again, New Horizon is going to keep flying, and other than it being a little bit of a, a curiosity, I don't think there's going to be much more coming out of it. It took some pictures, and then now they're, it's already past it, and now it's, it's on to whatever is going to happen to, uh, to that probe. What I think is a lot more curious, though, is what is going on over on SpaceX? These guys are up to something really, really weird, though. So there's been some pictures floating around that SpaceX is building some kind of huge, um, like, shining rocket. And a lot of people have been asking on Twitter, what the hell, what, what is this? What, what, what are you building? And... Um, Elon Musk has then said, oh, this is a, he's called it a Starship test vehicle. Whatever that is, that's pretty much all he's said. Now, there's been lots of speculations. Is, is this just going to be like a model? Is this actually going to be flying? I mean, what, what's going on here? Because I, people have gone into a huge amount of details with this. Um, they've been looking at the small engine bills they have mounted under, um, under the rocket, and they look pretty much identical to the engine builds they use on many of their other uh, spacecraft, so they look genuine enough, so there could potentially be some quote-unquote real rocket engines in there. Maybe it's just the engine builds they have, they've they mounted, since we can't really see what's inside. Um, interesting thing is, the rocket seems to be built by a company that normally builds water towers, as far as I could, uh, as far as I could dig up. Um, that is also a curiosity. Also the fact that there's been no internal compartments seen ship into the area um like i haven't haven't heard anything about them shipping in anything to this at all um like internals i would expect them to to be shipping in like fuel tanks and i mean you you don't carry a big fuel tank without anybody noticing it unless they're building that on site as well but why would they then hire a water tower company to 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 build a, a space rocket so i personally don't think this is going to be a Thing that's gonna fly i think the engines might be actual engine bells from actual rocket engines but i think that is about it i don't think there's an actual engine in there and if there is then it might just be like pyrotechnics um like just for show um so personally i think this is a big troll for from spacex and from elon musk it seems like something he would really really like to do uh, it seems something he would do at least like do a big troll like this uh, and not tell anybody what else is going on. Everybody's losing their mind over it. But there seem to be on a very, very tight schedule with it, um, working very hard on it. So hopefully we're going to see what the hell this is very, very soon, because 
it's it's really odd. And uh, he also tweeted a picture. Uh, I'll I'll shoot you here where he said this is what it's gonna look like when it's done. Um, uh, this is of course not a real picture. It's a uh, um, it's a computer generated image. But 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 anyway, uh, I don't know. It's just really really weird. And and yeah, I don't know. Um, let's move on to uh, to the moon where uh, the Chinese. Um, mission Chang 4 has now landed. It landed on the 2nd of January. Um, so yeah, that thing landed. They have a small rover and they're now driving around on the far side of the moon. Not the dark side, the far side. It's not dark. It's as lit up as, as the site we see. Um, but it's driving around up there and taking uh, samples. Basically, they're doing much of the same thing as they're doing with the uh, rovers on Mars. And um, the overall goal with the mission is to get a better, as far as that, is a better understanding of the internals of the moon. We know uh, to a decent degree what's going on on the surface, like the top surface of the moon, because of the Apollo program. These guys, on, uh, they brought back tons and tons of rocks, meaning that if you wanted to do a, a analysis of what was going on uh, with the surface materials on the moon, will we have it available on Earth? Um, which is also one of the reasons why it haven't been that that lucrative to go back to the moon, because, well, we have tons of, basically tons of moon on Earth that we know is there that we can use for, for studying. Um, but the change up there, but of course, from the surface samples, we can't tell much about how the moon was actually formed, and uh, and the internals, what does this moon look like on the inside? All that stuff is hopefully gonna be um, be something that we'll be getting some answers to in the near future. Okay, and moving on, uh, you might recall a while back I showed you a three D printed three D printed Corvette that I got sent to me by uh, by John. Um, and it is not done. I finished the paint job. I have it actually right here, but I'm not going to show it to you yet. I actually recorded the whole thing and made a video out of it. And of course, it's going to be very different than what I normally do, um, since it's not really a gaming video. But I hope you will enjoy it. The video is going to come out Wednesday, I think. Unless something happens, then it's going to come out Wednesday. Um, also, giveaways. Um, last week, of course, I announced the winner of the G502 Hero mouse. And the winner didn't get back to me, so I went on to the backup winners, and they didn't get back to me either. So what I did was I, yesterday, when the time period for the last uh, ran out, the 48 hours that, uh, that they have to reply, when that ran out, I decided to make a very, very quick giveaway um, on Discord. So I posted a link only for people on Discord. Um, and we've now found a winner of that because I wanted to get that finish, get this thing finished this week. So hopefully we'll get, uh, I'll get a reply. I have sent an email to um, um, to the winner, uh, so you should have received that by now. And of course, uh, recording this on Sunday, so if you have replied already, I, I wouldn't know yet. But anyway, the winner of the G502 Hero Mouse is Scott from Illinois in the US. So congratulations to you, Scott, if uh, if you're watching this. And um, hopefully you are, because that's what the giveaway from Discord. Um, the winner of the G903, which is of course this week's winner, is Sam from Canada. Both of you guys uh, have received an email from me. So go ahead, read your emails and um, send me the information that I need and I'll ship uh, that information or I'll send that information off to Logitech and they will then take care of all the shipping and all that stuff. So congratulations to the winners. That is That was the last of my giveaways that has now been done. So unless that I'm not going to be able to get in, uh, in touch with the winners of... Uh, of either the two, then hopefully that's that's this is gonna be uh, gonna be it for this time. Um, hopefully there'll be more giveaways in uh, in the future. And if you didn't win, well, I hope you have better luck next time. Finally, I need to talk about the live stream tomorrow. Um, I've been live streaming a little bit uh, over the um, over the Christmas vacation, a little bit more than uh, usual, and doing the round table, which was on was it that on Saturday last week. Or the week before that, it was like a week ago Saturday ish. Um, there was a round table, and I was running around and I was collecting some uh, some low temperature diamonds, stealing them off NPCs. And at the end of the stream, I, I began doing a, a new build for it. I also had the video come out on on this method um, 
earlier, uh, last week. Um, I did a new build because I wasn't too fond of the Anaconda build. There was some shortcomings that I wanted to try to address in a new build. So uh, I made a build that was named the Diamond Cutter. <laughs> I really like that name. Um, it is now ready. I finished all the engineering. Um, well, almost ready. I still need the the, the Packhound missiles, but I'm going to test it out with, uh, with normal Seeker missiles, which is what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Uh, on tomorrow's live stream, so hope you'll tune in for that so we can go and give that thing another test flight And hopefully we have resolved some of the issues that we had on the original build I did do a test flight of it already. It still had some some shortcomings or things that needs to be addressed Those have now been addressed and hopefully now we'll be able to uh, to get a finished build out of this um, One thing that I noticed though doing the engineering of this is I had to go out and hunt high grades and I did also did a video on it and when I was testing it it worked quite well, but it seems that some states, especially if you're looking for something like pharmaceutical isolators, it can be a pain to get. And there's also some other stuff going around with the boom ones, is, uh, something like protoheat radiator seems also there's some interesting stuff going on there. So there's a little bit more to it than I originally thought, but at least something like uh, like the pharmaceutical isolators, which you get from um, systems that outbreak. There are so few outbreak systems and the high-grade emissions are so far between that it's been pretty much impossible for me to find them. I spent several hours running around without finding a single high-grade, even though I were in like multiple systems. Um, didn't find a single high-grade that actually spawned um, pharmaceutical isolators. So that is quite annoying. Um, and also, if you are looking for a famine system, well, you're out of, out of luck. Famine system, at, at least last time I checked, um, which was early last, early last week, famine systems did not exist in Elite. There's not a single system in famine. Now, normally that would be a, a good thing, but since those systems spawn, uh, that state spawn specific um, uh, sites that we can use for, for collecting engineering materials, it pretty much cuts us off to some materials. Um, unless you want to begin to do cross trading, which seems to be more and more of a viable option now, just instead of hunting for a specific high grade, um, it's probably at least if you're hunting for the hard high grades, it's probably more efficient to just hunt for any high grades and then do cross trading um, when it comes to to collecting materials. But I'm still working on a good way to collect pharmaceutical isolators. What I'm trying to find out now is if I can find a reliable method to find type nines in anarchy systems. Um, where we can get them uh, quickly, where hopefully we can uh, board flip them so they can respawn, we can kill them over and over again. Because when killing type 9s, they have a chance of dropping pharmaceutical isolators, so that could be another source. But again, we, I need a reliable um, source of type 9s ships that can be killed over and over again. Um, haven't been able to find something too reliable, working on several things here, for instance, the... Um, um, those wedding barges, <laughs> they seem to always be flying, or often flying type 9s. Convoy dispersal patterns seem to also be a thing, so finding those in anarchy systems could be a way to go. Um, haven't had a ton of luck with it yet, but I'm still investigating that. So we can figure out a way to get a, get a hold of our pharmaceutical isolators without having to go and do cross-trading, because that is really, really expensive in materials. But anyway, I think this has been a long enough hello day for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like down below. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, go down and do that as well. And then until next time, I will see you guys in space.